Hello and welcome to the first video uh, edition of uh, the Rockbridge Soundboard in a while. My name is Cameron Fuller. And I'm Alok Gavari. And today we're going to be doing our two uh, least favorite albums of the year so far. Yeah. Uh, we just wrapped up our very, very long series, yeah. top 50 albums of all time. So go check that out. It was a lot of fun to make. It was a long podcast. So go back and check those out mm -hmm. and uh, yeah now, now that we're uh, kind of getting into uh, the new year and uh, getting excited about uh, summer as well we're going to talk about kind of some of the things that we really don't like about this year so far and uh, being uh, our two least favorite albums right. so uh, if you want to start out we'll get to it let's do it all right here we go so my least favorite album this uh, this year so far was Weezer's White Album, which came out on April 1st. And this is a very stereotypical Weezer album with his angst that doesn't quite fit in with his age group and the music he should be making. And so I gave this uh, this album a listen a few times. And I, there's, a, there's a few tracks that I liked, but nothing blew me away. Nothing told me like, wow, this was the Weezer that we all loved back in the early ni or later 90s uh, with like, uh, their earlier albums. So this was just one of their, just one of their not so great albums at all. Uh, their songs are very bland, across the board, very similar chord progressions, very annoying kind of Weezer vocals. And so I think the White Album may have been, no, it was definitely my least favorite album this year because of the, the not creative newness from Weezer. It's good to hear a band staying true to what they're they're coming from, but when it's the same thing, it's not so great. And yeah. Alright, so the album that I'm going to be talking about now is uh, Cleopatra by the Lumineers. Uh, if you know anything about uh, just, you know, popular music and kind of uh, the last five years, then you know about Hohe and like how. Uh, or Hey Ho, I don't even know, uh, how popular that song was coming from an indie standpoint, which was really impressive that they were able to make an indie folk song like be super popular. Of course, that was followed by a bunch of bands that did the exact same thing, but the Lumineers were the first to do that. Uh, their self-titled album, The Lumineers, was great. Really good, solid album, you know, simple uh, to, you know, the extent that it was pretty much very similar to what had uh, come out of their original single uh, in Hey Ho. But besides that, uh, they've kind of been on this hiatus for a long time now. And now that they've gotten back, oh my dear lord was Cleopatra such a bad album. This album is the pinnacle to me of what you shouldn't do on your sophomore album. When you come back from a long break and you suddenly realize that oh my gosh, we, have, we need to make an album that is going to be just as popular as the next one. It needs to be full of pop songs that are indie folk and everyone's running through the woods because we're all living in Portland and everyone's having fun. That's not okay and I'm telling you right now, Lumineers, it's not acceptable to make a complete pop crap album, especially after you make such an exceptional album your first go around. It's just not good. It really sets off a lot of people in my mind from listening to indie folk and just folk music in general because really you guys were the entryway to a lot of people into the folk music genre. And, and then as su suddenly they get to this point where like, oh, well, this is crap. Why would I even listen to this genre of music when there's all these other awesome bands that aren't as popular as you guys just going through and making great albums like Fleet Foxes who are hopefully going to come back very soon. I hope to hear God to wash out this crap from my mouth. All right, so now that we're back, uh, pretty much, uh, what, what did you think after you had listened to the Lumineers' uh, Cleopatra? Uh, I don't think I had as, uh, as a passionate of <laughs> response as Cam, but I, 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 I saw what he meant. It was very uh, radio kind of like hits that, it was very directed towards like pop songs instead of uh, the, like you said, the folk songs that uh, the Lumineers are popular, popular for. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm just, I, I'm very disappointed in that album. I, I do not like it. But what's Weezer, your sense on Weezer? 
Weezer to me is like such a great group that just completely fell off the map and no one like they're just like a punchline now for every like indie like band joke out there. I, I don't think you can make like a serious claim for any of their last like three or four albums being good. Weezer, uh, if you're listening, yeah, retire. Weezer, yeah, retire. Retire. You're done. Or maybe make a solo. Yeah, someone make a solo album. Maybe you'll get like a tour out of it and then you can just kind of be on your merry way. But we like, we love original Weezer stuff. And yeah. if you guys were willing to like go back to that, then heck yeah, like we're all excited for that. But not, not. Yeah, you guys haven't been original for quite some time. Quite some time now. And it's, uh, it's dragging on way too long. Plus, it hurts to see your idols kind of digress into this mm -hmm. vat of poop. That yep. is White Album. That is White Album. This Oh, why are you calling colors? What are you doing, Weezer? All right, anyways, yeah. so we hope you guys like our review of the worst album of 2016, and yeah. Thank you guys so much. Uh, if uh, you guys have any other ideas for what we should be doing uh, very, very soon in our next episode, hopefully we're going to be doing more video interviews. Uh, hopefully video interviews at some point we're going to try and interview yeah, some bands or even uh, just like listening to other people talk about music uh, for online school so if you are at all interested in getting involved uh, or just you know sending us a tweet at very news uh, on twitter uh, or even emailing in, uh, either of us individually uh, we're more than happy to talk to you guys so thank you guys so much for watching as always i'm cam fuller i'm lucky by make sure to check back next week for the next episode of the rapper's Soundboard. Please